Hi guys! So continuing my autumn style series, today we're gonna talk about soft classic body type. If you're new to my channel, I have a huge Kiwi body types playlist, I'm gonna leave the link down below. Before we start, I would like you to watch this video, I'm gonna leave the link down below. It's summer style laws for the body types, because there we're discussing basic layer, and today we're gonna talk about layering, because basic layer has its own rules, layering has its own rules. What is the biggest problem for soft classics in autumn? I would say untidiness and looking cheap because every time they are throwing in different kinds of mix and match stuff it's easier it's effortless and then they just normally don't feel all together they feel like they're not in their best shape so for them it's important at least well ironed quite tidy maybe some lashes or their brows to be in a good shape to have their hair good this is when they feel much better. What would be rule number one for layering? Smooth, soft, symmetrical silhouettes with slight shaping, clean, unbroken lines, and symmetry is great for you. So head to toe is better for you than mix and match approach. So even if you pick up top and bottom same color, it already will look more all together for you. Things that might not look as good on you is too much of something, too severe, too geometric, too ornate, too intricate, too untidy, too unconstructed. Now let's be more specific about items. First let's talk about sweaters. So soft and smooth sweaters are best for them. Lightweight knits are best when the finish is soft to the touch. Cashmere, angora, boucle, silky weaves are amazing. Length is best when it's short to moderate. Classic stripy sweaters or polos look amazing and very expensive on soft classics. Just make sure it's not overly geometric looking. If there's some softness to it, it's better. Soft to shoulders or tuck it into your pants or sometimes they make gathers on the sleeves. All that will soften the geometry of the piece. Again, if you feel like it's too geometric for you. So sweaters that might not look as good on you is something oversized, something bulky, rough, thick knits, skinny rib knits, just not classy on you, and, as Davy Kiwi says, perky patterns. Fun, cheerful. Now let's go to cardigans. Classic cardigans from short to elongated look great. They should look soft with waist or without waist. If without waist, then narrow would be better. Also look at knitted blazers. This is an amazing piece. I actually found some great pieces for you. I'm gonna leave all the links under this video. So if you go for knitted blazer slash cardigan, something like this, just make sure it's not too rough and bulky in knits and it's a little bit soft. Not too boxy, not too geometric. So cardigans that you might not look very good in is something too unconstructed, too rough in texture, too muddy in pattern or silhouette. Now let's talk about jackets and blazers. So David Kibbe in his book says that softly tailored with curvy shaping, subdued, not fussy. Blazers with waist or without waist, not too long or oversized is better. In general, anything that is too much is just interfering into your balanced beauty. Too much of trim, too much of pattern, too wide, too long, too oversized or too sharp in geometry. So all that is just doing nothing for you just adding too much noise. Even if we talk about jackets like bomber or denim jacket, that is quite funky elements. But still, if you go for the its classic form, the way it was created back then, bomber that is classic bomber, denim jacket that is a classic denim jacket, not too long, not too short, not too oversized, not too huge, and things like that, you would look nice on that. Just balance it with something a little bit more feminine. If you just like that style, that's great. So you can always balance it with something classic. But if you go for bomber that is too oversized or in too strange colors, that is when it can start interfering into your beauty. Leather jacket can be a little bit too severe. Again, you can balance it with something more feminine and classic underneath and choose something that is a little bit softer looking. If leather jacket has very shiny surface, then it's gonna look more severe than if it was more matte. Also, brown leather looks softer than black leather, so you still can try both. Something too long and too oversized again can look quite severe on you. Something extremely sharp with extremely big shoulders again can look cool and edgy but can a little bit be too much for you. Again, choose something more classic. Coats. All those classic coats and trenches are for you. Whether you go for waist emphasis or no waist emphasis, that's gonna look nice. Maybe not the longest version that is almost to the ground, that is too long for you. Probably choose something that stops at the ankles. We need some delicacy showing. You can even go a little bit oversized here, but keep in mind that something again has to balance it. So in this case, maybe belt would balance, slightly oversized coat, or if you 
you're wearing oversized coat just it should not be super long and it should be preferably opened and there we would see a little bit sleeker clothes just to balance everything if you talk about a coat as a separate piece then of course something classic narrow delicate with or without waist would be best waist just softens it you might not look as good in something too long too oversized too severe geometric too wide and unconstructed or something flouncy with excess trim or something with peplum like extremely delicate and extremely precise this is just not your vibe now if you talk about shoes all those classic delicate shoes that they sell now in the shops is your thing many girls are talking nowadays about shoes don'ts shoes do's what is more elegant less elegant you can always watch those videos they can be very helpful for time today i'm mostly talking about rules for many years so it should be more classic more delicate that is your thing i don't recommend something with wide ankle almost to anyone because in my viewpoint it looks good only on women with extremely long and thin legs but I also understand that wide ankle boots can also be different if it would go straight to your cuffs and be as wide as your cuffs. In this case, that would be too heavy. Another thing that might not look as good on you is something extremely angular. You know, those very squarish shoes with squarish heels, squarish toes. That's normal enough for you. Also chunky shoes and too big platforms. That is just not your vibe. And it also can make you look very heavy especially if you're having a long coat. So be careful with those. So scarf. For warmer weather, you can choose cotton, silk or chiffon scarves with different kinds of patterns. If you want, you can go just for calm and classic colors or you can go for different kinds of patterns. Classic polka dots, classic stripes, all that would look great on you. Florals would look great. Florals can be slightly watercolor blended, can be soft looking, but not something too aggressive or too severe or too geometric, something too abstract. It will just distract from your balanced face. We don't need this. When the weather is colder, you can go for wool and cashmere scarf. Any kind of scarf that you want is just probably not in muddy pattern. It's not for you just choose something more classic and classy if we talk about hats and puffers i have winter style for the body types video i'm gonna leave the link down below so there i'm talking about all the body types in one and i'm not talking about trends there i'm talking about basic laws i'm talking about your personal rules for puffers for hats for big clothes when it's very very cold also i chose some interesting items for you i will leave all the links down below for your reference all right that's it i hope that was helpful thank you so much guys and i'll see you soon Bye bye